How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Mal Alberts putting you welcome to Wrestling Champions, produced by Sports Publicity Institute. And coming to you from Marigold Arena in Chicago, the wrestling capital of the world. Hi, everybody. We'll grab a hold of the arms of that chair because we got 60 minutes of excitement coming your way from where the excitement comes best, Marigold in Chicago. Top matches, and I think you're going to like them. Tonight, Hans Herman against John Paul Henning to lead things off. Then Johnny Case goes in against Jim Haiti, and that is a natural. I think you're going to like that one. Crusher Cortez, or Ricky Cortez, as you would have it, will be in against a newcomer, Hank Lane. And then Bad Boy Joe goes against the dancing teacher, Carl Engstrom. That's the card for tonight. Should be a good one. So stick around and take it all in. And right now, stay tuned for the greatest show on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the gentleman sitting next to us is certainly one of the most popular and well-known wrestlers in the Midwest area, and particularly here in Chicago, Billy Gills, who is probably not only one of the outstanding individual wrestlers, but in teaming with John, uh, with uh, Gilbert, Johnny Gilbert, they make up the team of Gills and Gilbert, known as the G-Men. And Billy, how have the G-Men been going recently? Very good, Mal. Uh, of course, we've been campaigning all over this area, and we're still gunning for that team that I talked to you about some time ago, the team of uh, uh, Volkov and Case. We understand they've been saying a few things about us, too, around here. Well, whenever we chat with uh, Nikolai Volkov and Johnny Case, Bill, the, one of the first things that comes from them is uh, amongst the teams they desire to meet in order to increase their reputation, is the G-Men, Gills and Gilbert. They uh, seem to have a chip on their shoulder for you two. Well, it seems that way. Of course, there are other teams that it would do us more good to wrestle, uh, one of whom is uh, uh, Lewin and Curtis. But uh, Lewin and Curtis aren't going around uh, casting the insults at us that Case and Volkov are. And uh, that's why Johnny and I are so determined to get them in the ring and even the score. Well, I think with both teams desiring a meeting, I'm sure promoter Fred Kohler will manage that in the near future. And as they say, Bill, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Maybe uh, you'll just have to go in there and eat those boys up alive, huh? Well, I hope we get the opportunity pretty soon. I talked to Mr. Kohler not long ago, and he said that it was on the books. I'm sure it will be. Win. Well, whenever it comes up, it ought to be a great match. Good luck to you and your wonderful partner, Johnny Gilbert. I know the G-Men will carry on in great stead. Thank you, man. Thank you. Billy Gills, one of the top men in the business. Now here to introduce our first bout, ring announcer, Leonard Sterling. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. These wrestling exhibitions are sanctioned by the National Wrestling Alliance and are under the supervision the Illinois State Athletic Commission. Your officials for this evening, the attending physician, Dr. Walter Barth, your timekeeper, Bob Klaus, your referee, Maury Friedman. This match will be to one fall. In this corner, weighing 265 pounds, from Munich, Germany, Hans Hermann. In this corner, weighing 240 pounds, from St. Petersburg, Florida, John Paul Henning. The Deutschlander, Hans Hermann, from Germany, now making his home in Boston, on the right-hand side of your picture. And from St. Petersburg, Florida, the Southland, wearing a very loud wrestling uh, jacket. John Paul Henning on the left of your picture. Third man, Maury Friedman, the referee, discussing the fact of the matter with 
John Paul and hands. And we're ready to go. First match, Hans Herman, John Paul. Now, I want you to note the size of referee Maury Friedman. Now, Maury stands in at six feet, and he weighs about 490 in that neighborhood. That'll give you an idea of the size of the two men in the ring. Hans Herman is 290 pound, and he stands 6'5". John Paul Henning, 240 pounds and 6'3". I mean, they are a couple of big ones. Hans Herman claims the distinction of having the largest shoulders in wrestling. And to look at him, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. College graduate, dabbles in electronic devices, and has uh, several inventions to his credit. And an unusual hobby fills Ann's idle hours. He has one of the largest collections of unique clocks in the country. He is probably one of the most disliked men in wrestling. Ann's father is a uh, noted surgeon and you may recall uh, some years back when Ted Williams was still playing with Boston when he injured his shoulder severely in the All-Star game it was Hans father uh, who assisted in that operation to set the splendid splitter's shoulder and Hans is looking for a place to hide and finds it under the lower rope strand Maury Friedman calls for a clean break from John Paul Henning there's a good close-up study of the man from Hanover, Germany. And showing just how strong he is, but not with proof positive, just gestures. Twists that arm into a hammerlock, does John Paul Henning. Paul working over the left arm and shoulder of Hans Herman. Those of the good Deutsch backgrounds will no doubt say, I wonder if I don't say Hans correctly. So it's Hans Herman. And Murray Friedman is uh, chided and rebuked by Hans. John Paul finding out what a nice right hand of the jaw feels like and what that turnbuckle feels like right in the small of your back. John Paul holds the Hawaiian heavyweight title. He's also a Northwest champion. And he spent a very interesting time during the Korean War when his standard equipment, or let's say battle dress, consisted of just what he's wearing now. Trunks. Close. Oh, have a turnbuckle on me, says John Paul. And the right hand of my own. Take my feet. Another drop kick by John Paul Henning. That looks like big trouble for Hans Herman.
That's all. Bounce couldn't stand it. He said he has had enough. John Paul Henning, a frogman on a demolition team during the Korean War, gets the nod over Hans Hermann of Hanover, Germany. The time was four minutes, 55 seconds, and concession hold called the bow and arrow, the winner, John Paul Henning.